Hi, this is Jennifer Field with IDA TV here in Little Tokyo at the opening night premiere of Takaratsuka for East West Players, and I'm here with the playwright, Susan Suhi Stanton. Susie, it's so nice to meet you. I was blown away at the words tonight. Um, some, some, some lines of dialogue really stuck out to me. And I'm meeting you now, and I just have to ask, what inspired you to do this story? And, you know, there's a lot of elements here. This was a really, really great story that you told tonight. Thank you. Um, I was inspired by seeing a documentary of a Takarazuka star that was retiring. And I'm a writer. I can always write. And I thought about a like professional ballerina or an athlete that suddenly has to stop what they're doing very abruptly. And what does it mean to discover what you want to do in this life and then not be able to continue it? And what does that mean in terms of your identity? And I think there's a lot of really essential themes in terms of, you know, what 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 a life contains. So that was the beginning point for the play. Interesting. And so there is historical, uh, uh, there's history behind this. So tell me a little bit about what this uh, type of theater was, how long was it going on for? I mean, was there a lot of troops that did this type of show in Japan? Well, I, mean, I think people think about Japanese theater, they think about No and Kabuki, which have male performers. And Takarazuka is actually its 100th year. And a uh, Japanese railroad tycoon was trying to think of ways to get people to come to to his town. He, he owned the railroad, and he decided to create this women's chorus, which became a women's theater. And it was an attraction to bring these people in, but then it took hold, and people were just fascinated by it. And so it just keeps going and going, and it, it's expanded. Now they're in Tokyo, but they're also in the town of Takarazuka. So they, they've toured around the world different places. So it just keeps growing, I think, people's... Um, attention and, and yeah. Is it still all women? Yes, and I think it'll always be all women. That's the thing, yeah. That's really great. I've heard of troops that are all men, so it's nice that there's ones yeah. that are all women. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, and they, they dance so beautifully. They're incredible, they're very dedicated. The shows can be crazy. They have these tuxedos with these huge feathers and sequins, <laughs> and it, they're very much larger than life. Sometimes there's, I think, over 400 people that it takes to put on a show. Wow. So and they perform for thousands of people, so it's really big. I mean, bigger than Vegas. So. It's almost it's like operatic. It's it's it, everything's big. Yes, there's a lot of spectacle involved. We tried yeah. to create that as best we could in this show. Yeah. So I notice you are Hapa as well. I am Hapa. Yes. Um, and being biracial, being Hapa, growing up, I'm sure that some of the stuff that you know um, was talked about in the play was stuff that you've thought about being a writer. Definitely. I mean, I think as a writer, there's th themes that you can explore. And I feel like I don't see that many stories about Hapa characters. And it's very complicated being Hapa. I agree. Especially uh, even further back in time. I mean, now it's a lot easier to be Hapa. And also, I think being androgynous or being what's male or what's female, it's a very binary play, but it also explores what's in between. And so Hapa was just one, like you said, one extra way where people were struggling to figure out their identity in this world. So true. And what's uh, next on the horizon? What are you working on next? I don't know. I'm just so happy to be here. I, I just opened a show a week before in Honolulu. So they both opened at the same time. And so now oh. this show opened and I think I'm just going to take a oh break. My God. No yeah. sleep. No sleep. Yeah. You're yeah. just living out of a suitcase yeah. last week. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, it sounds like you are doing wonderful things for the community and for the arts world. Thank you so much Thank for your you contribution. So Jennifer Field with ID8 TV.